do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Yes, this great work of art, original work of art, love is the law, love and will, is the frontispiece. See the sun and moon conjoined there? Between that yoni-ish mountain top twin peaks there. That's the frontispiece to uh, a fun little book that uh, I compiled and put together and wrote uh, a collection of letters that I've gotten over the years and emails and questions. Uh, and uh, it's not by one of the uh, it's by one of my publishers, uh, uh, New Falcon, New Falcon Publications, and it's still available. And uh, it's one of those books that uh, uh, I plug from time to time. And I've probably uh, over the last uh, over two years have probably read excerpts from. Uh, but today, for various reasons, I'm, I want to share uh, one uh, question about, uh, can I sum up Thelema to uh, the layman? Now, I don't know who the hell a layman is. We're, we're all laymans uh, if we're... King of England, we're still a layman as far as I'm concerned. And uh, uh, it really is very rough to uh, uh, start the conversation from scratch to describe to someone uh, what, uh, what Thelema is. It's almost uh, like, like any discussion of philosophy, it almost requires the the person asking the question uh, to open the door of how an answer may be delivered, if that makes sense. But anyway, I'm just going to do this short little thing uh, this morning so we can, uh, uh, I know it's Monday and people want to get on with their week, but there's two little, uh, little things. Uh, one of them, uh, also concerns which AA is the most legitimate one or the real one. And uh, it's a question that everybody uh, continues to ask today. But uh, uh, 15 or 20 years ago, when, I, when this letter was uh, uh, written to me, uh, there was, uh, 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 well, here's what I say here. Okay, uh, uh, which lineage? It's rumored, yes, on the internet, that some of them aren't living up to their original purpose. Or you can put me in, or can you put me in touch with the right people? I just don't want to get defrauded, or uh, on something so important. Uh, the internet abounds with those who claim to be the one true wise order. Thank you. Okay. Now, at the time he was reading this, it was truly the Wild West of, uh, of uh, OT or AA pretensions on the on the internet, and uh, there are there were uh, a couple at that at that time, which were obviously completely. Bonkers uh, <laughs> people. Okay, I'm happy to say that uh, that uh, today is a whole different matter. Almost every uh, uh, entity that presents its itself uh, today in any sort of public uh, manner is probably well well connected in an ethical and uh, uh, 
would have no hesitation of, of uh, uh, you know, not warning somebody against it. But here's what I said back then, okay? Uh, when it comes right down to it, I don't believe that anyone is qualified to say with absolute certainty which lineage of AA is or is not living up to its original purpose. So right there, I said, hey, don't, I can't judge. I don't know anyone who can judge if it's living up to its original uh, purpose. If you believe that you were in the AA, the pressure is really on you and not your AA contact as far as uh, how you go about prosecuting the great work. So that's the bottom line. I still hold to that opinion. For instance, I know of at least two lineages that come from Crowley through Germer, through whomever, one of them I consider about as legitimate and ethical as any on earth. And now today I would say, uh, you know, a handful of them, okay? The other is led by an individual that I personally consider to be mentally ill and perhaps even dangerous. And like I said, that... Uh, that appears to no longer longer uh, be the case, okay? No, well, not that they're not still crazy, they're just not out there, okay? Of course, I wouldn't recommend the latter, not because I'm challenging anyone's individual AA credentials, but because I think he or she is at the moment just mad as a hatter, okay? That being said, I'm also very uncomfortable with, with groups that actually uh, recruit members, okay? Uh, but anyway, in my opinion, the AA is a profoundly private affair, and until such time as you are prepared to take on a student, you should only officially know one other person, your superior. Okay, that was my opinion back then still more or less uh, less the same but if you are uh, in your search for, for AA things anything that uh, uh, most of the the AA people that present themselves as such uh, today especially on the, the internet and, and there's major groups uh, and people with uh, perfectly sound uh, credentials, uh, they're out there. The point is, it's up to you. The AA is a big, big, big thing, okay? It's not like uh, a, a corporation, okay, that, that has... Uh, it's a big thing. Okay, it's it's bigger than every one. Okay, uh, and so it's not limited. It's not limited to, uh, and even your your private uh, uh, instructors are they're just human beings. Okay, and hopefully they're just uh, a step or two uh, ahead of you. That's kind of the idea of it. Okay. It's you that makes the connection. It's you that sticks your finger directly into the electrical socket that is the AA. So all the, all the, the curriculum to the, the study is out there for you to uh, avail yourself of, and you can start the study. And uh, in this day and age, there are many wonderful individuals uh, who are, uh, with all good intentions, uh, attempting to, uh, to hold your hand through that, to that process. So my earlier words, okay, I have recently been taken out of context and Lon says this person and Lon says that person is mad as a hatter. No, the major people involved uh, today 
I wouldn't consider Matt as a header. As a matter of fact, they're doing good work. That being said, okay. How do I explain Philema to a layman? How would you describe Thelema to the layman? If I had no occult knowledge and I was looking into the religion for the first time and ask you to sum it up for me, what would you say? And how would you sum up Crowley <laughs> to those unaware of who he was? Part of Crowley's Thelema is, you know, uh, argue not, convert not, talk not over much. Uh, Thelema isn't something you uh, you you uh, proselytize. Uh, you don't try to convince someone off the street to be a Thelemite. Uh, Thelemites are made. Uh, or you could actually say one makes oneself a thelemite and then other thelemites might recognize <laughs> what you are. Okay. Look, the only thing that any of us knows for sure about ourselves is that we currently exist and that we are here. Most of us have an abiding conviction that for reasons beyond our current ability to comprehend, our present individual existence is somehow a correct phenomenon in the greater scheme of things. Otherwise, why would we struggle so passionately to preserve and prolong our existence? Are you with me so far? Without presuming to speculate unduly why we exist, why we are here, or why this is probably correct, Thelema recognizes each individual's place and potential contribution to the universe as a whole. Thelema then goes on to posit that it is the duty of each one of us to discover what our unique potential contribution really is. In Thelema, this duty is called will. Once we discovered what that duty is, or at least get a glimpse of what it might be, then it becomes imperative that we fulfill that duty, just like a planet or an electron in its proper orbit and then go on to make that contribution to the universe which we are a necessary part. In Thelema, we call this doing one's will. Still follow me? Obviously, discovering and executing our will can be a difficult process, but so is living a life guided by any other philosophical or religious program. What makes the Lima unique is that it treats the individual as the basic unit of society. Responsible entirely for his or her own reality. For as I said, the only thing any of us knows is that we currently exist and that we were here. How would I sum up Crowley to those unaware of who he was? I would simply say that Aleister Crowley was an extremely eccentric and controversial holy man of the 20th century. His theories on the nature of human consciousness are viewed by many as mystical pre-echoes of the revelations of modern quantum mechanics and astrophysics. For this, his followers have hailed him as prophet of the new aeon. I hope this has been helpful. So, there's the two things I wanted to discuss this morning. I'm sure I confused you with the first one <laughs> and hopefully uh, cleared up a few things 
uh, with the second. But anyway, I have to get on with my week. I had a wonderful time this weekend uh, remotely with uh, the Seattle Esoteric Masonry, Freemasonry uh, Conference. And now I'm getting ready for ThelemaCon in just less than two weeks. But anyway, so I'm keeping busy, everyone. Okay. Till tomorrow, continue to be good to yourself and be good to each other. Do what thou wilt, shall be the whole of the law. Love is the law. Love under will.